enough of that. Goodness me. Right. It is time to paint. This is the paint that I'm using. So this is the Rust Oleum Chalky Finish Furniture Paint, which you don't need priming or sanding or anything like that. But what I will do is give these a clean. Um, I was going to use my trusty little vax here, which I love because you just go over the lot. But I can't because I can't find the flipping, I can't find the end. So I can't use that, but I will use this for the floor. Yes. And once these are painted and dried, I'm then going to Fablon, the worktops. But this is the Fablon I'm using. This is Fablon Classic. And it is marble. Marble effect. Effect because one can't afford marble. But that's what it's all about, making the most of what you've got. And bringing the best out of it and that's what i'm gonna do today but i need to get these off <sighs> which i don't want to do so before my tiny tiny little kitchen let's start with the after So here we go with getting the handles off. Absolute nightmare. Hated every single minute of this. Hurt my wrist, made my inner hand sore. And yeah, got those off. But I'm giving you the delight of my lovely granny pants. They are coming. Check out these granny pants. Oh yes. Now these are an essential. I don't care what anyone thinks. These are my around the house clothes. And these are granny pants. I'm not gonna lie about it. Got them from Sainsbury's, love them, super comfortable. But that's not why you're here. I'm cleaning down the cupboards now with my Fabulosa kitchen spray, which smells like gorgeous bubblegum-like sweets. Love that so, so much. Like, if you smell it, whew. Okay, so I'm going to be brutally honest here now. It's brutally, it's not really brutally, is it? But I am very honest, and I'm going to say that my cats don't normally jump on the worktops. The reason he's doing this is because since I got COVID and I was really, really ill, I say really ill, but I was just rotten, he followed me everywhere and when I was doing the kitchen he followed me there as well and sat up there which is really unlike him but anyway I wasn't too fussed because I know that short coming I'm going to be steaming these worktops and the worktops are going to have a new covering so it's all good. So here I am thinking oh I'm so good look at me absolute DIY goddess painting on this gorgeous chalk paint absolutely oblivious to the fault that i will be sharing with you in a minute but yeah i'm going for it anyway rolling it on i haven't used a paintbrush once i have used the roller for all the edges it's come out perfectly and yeah i mean i say perfectly it's never going to be perfect there's always going to be something but flipping love this rolling away like a happy little gabby i was here and then decided sorry there's a siren going off i decided sod this let's put some music on put some music on didn't i singing my heart out i was in the kitchen while i was rolling while nick was trying to watch the um brands Atch, i think it's like touring cars or something and all he could hear was me just singing my heart out i'm sat in the car so if you can hear traffic and sirens that is why but there we go microphone in hand i'm giving it my absolute best obviously thinking that i sound exactly like alex turner when clearly i do not look at me go look i'm on the final stretch look i am such a tit look how excited i am look oblivious absolutely oblivious wait for it final coat is going on now i'm not going to show you all of this but yeah i'm going on with the second coat and ta-da okay second coat is done apart from this covered here i've noticed a fault it's not a fault it's just my own fault for I'm not noticing it. I'm not thinking about it. But this bloody lovely stuff goes on a drain. You can't clean it. So basically, all I'm doing is priming these cupboards to 
then have to paint another one on top, which is washable. So we have to get like a kitchen wash, washable kitchen paint and do it all again another time. Flipping gutted. It's now almost 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm so tired. I finished doing this regardless of the fact that it's not washable. Um, put the handles back on. That was a nightmare. That's probably the worst part. It looks so much better. It's brighter. Um, but then I did dinner washed the boys, ironed their school clothes, sorted out their school bags. And yeah, now I'm going to go and watch Venom. Well, the other half of Venom. <sighs> I did really, really, really want to do this tonight. I can't face it. I really can't face it. I'm just in agony. I'm loving this, though. It just looks so much better and brighter. And this is the new light. But yeah, that was a bargain. That's a bargain. But yeah, I'm going to make a cup of tea, get into bed and do the rest of it tomorrow when the kids are in school. Good morning. I'm awake. I'm ready for round two. Well, I'm not ready for round two, but it's got to be done. Anyway, today is fabulous. So I said I was going to do the rest of it while the kids are in school. I've already cleared the worktops. Gutted. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, to the kids' school. <sighs> Amazing. I had the best moment. You need to put this out there. I had the best moment today I've ever experienced with all their schools. And my eldest is 16. He's now at college. So, you know, this is a long history of school situations. Anyway. So my youngest was being bullied in the class he's in. He spent his first school with his best friend, with my one of my best friend's son, throughout that, that whole time. So reception, year one, year two, year three, they were together in the new school. Then year three hits, they finish it, and it's like, right, we're now make a decision on spreading the classes and mixing them up, and then that's how they'll be for the rest of the school. Anyway. He was getting bullied. He wasn't put with his best friend. And they both cried about it. They're both absolutely distraught. And shut up, washing machine. I'm trying to speak. Basically, he was being bullied. He wasn't getting on very well. He wasn't enjoying school. And that's not like him because normally he's like, oh, it's the weekend. I want school. Like, rare, rare. Definitely don't get that from me. But managed to get him in with his best friend, in a, with a really good teacher. Just brilliant. Anyway, I take him in this morning and I hear the class go as he walks in. Oh, we love Elliot. All these children started saying they loved Elliot. Oh my God. Ooh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. His best friend was like really confused and they just ran and hugged each other. It was beautiful. They hugged oh my, God, my heart. My heart can't take it. And um, the teacher went over to him and said, Oh, you know, hello, I am Mr. and shook his hand. And, and Elliot said, Elliot said, thank you for having me. My boy, my boy. Anyway, that's my little moment of, of happiness. Um, it's made my year, not going to lie. I've got my, I've got Elliot's CD player sitting here that I get for his birthday with Elliot's Arctic Monkey CD sitting in it because I think someone else is using my Spotify. I'm going to put that on and crack on. This is my Vax Steam cleaner does all everything does all rounders and i'm using a brand new pad so that i can steam the tops of the worktops because i can't find the nozzles so i'm just using the floor base to do it but with a brand new head doesn't matter fabulosa kitchen Woo! here we go oh yes gabby Look how nicely it fits in that corner. Yes, Steam. Oh, you love it.
So carrying on with some mighty fine dance moves here while I absolutely steam the bejesus out of these worktops and just enjoying every single minute of it. It's so satisfying. Like I can't even put into words how much I enjoy doing this. Even going on to this bit here, like I'm going all out. Hold on to your ceilings because I might go for them as well. Then getting a tea towel and just drying it all down. I've got to make sure it's completely dry before I put the fab on down because if it's slightly bit wet, then it's not going to stick. So measuring it all out now, this is where I become ridiculous because I just, I don't know how to coordinate things when it comes to this sort of thing. So I kind of just like wing it, set it out to how I feel it's going to fit the best way. And they are wonky. So it is really, really non impossible to try and get a decent straight line it never ever happens i remember it last time it all came back to me when i started doing it again but anyway i'm just cutting and like i'm not even cutting on the right side of the of the fabron i'm cutting on the top and you should cut underneath but we're going with it got it all lined up and I'm starting to pull it as it's stuck in the corners thinking right this is gonna go a dream I am I'm doing it right I start using the tool the tool is actually worse so got rid of that and discovered that the heat of the palm of my hand just rubbing it as I pull inch by inch it goes on an absolute dream it's the way to do it so took a while and sweating like an absolute pig stink desperate for a shower armpit smelling like a flipping teenage boy but look at it go on look how wow tool came in handy started shoving it underneath the well i don't even want to know what you call that and then start putting these items back because this side is finally done and look at me go i'm cutting it on the right side i actually measured that All the final touches starting to be put back into place. Um, I started putting the big bulky stuff back before I did the last bit around the sink. And then here we are. All that hard work paid off. It is so much brighter in this kitchen, I cannot tell you. I've given it a bit of a clean. It's not the best job in the world, you know. There are places that I, I notice. You can, might be able to see it yourself where you think, hmm, that's not perfect but it's perfect for us and I'm really really happy it's made such a difference to the kitchen and to think that it was only five pound a roll you know they I'm showing you that because that just shows that the paint does come off here's what I had for my lunch because I was flipping starving it's my cheese toasty yes but yeah what a difference I mean it is so much better I just need to get a top coat in for the cupboards and then it's all good flipping love that Look at that shine. When the sun comes in, it looks amazing. So this is the paint. I mean, the paint does go on really, really nice and it does look really nice. But unfortunately, every time you put your hand around the handle, your nail scrapes the paint off, which is really, really annoying. So yeah, but it's made it brighter. It's made it fresher and everyone really, really likes it in the house. So I feel really proud of myself. I think it took about three hours in total, but it was worth every single second. So that is it. I am super happy with how it's turned out. Really, really loving it. Like every time I go into the kitchen now, I'm like, it's like I've got a brand new kitchen when I haven't. It cost me £10 to do the topping. So the Fablon was £5 a roll and I used one and a half roll and it was £12 for the paint. Although I've got a paint over it again. But nonetheless, it looks so much better. I'm really, really pleased. If you've made it to this part of the video, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below. When I get back, I've got to do the hoovering, steam mopping the floor uh, and do dinner. But at the moment, I'm done the college picking up my son. So I can fit in what I can fit in. And I said that this video was going to go up today. So yeah, here we are. Thank you so much. And thank you for all your kind messages and being really supportive. I have been on a massive downer. Kelly, you know who you are. You literally saved me that day. I'm not joking. Like, 
yeah just got I don't even think you realize or you know how much you made a difference that day and I'm really really grateful so thank you and I will see you all in my next one bye